Today, a CDC panel will consider updated recommendations for Johnson & Johnson's COVID vaccine. The group will discuss the benefits and risks of the single dose shot. That includes looking into a rare blood clot that's been linked to the vaccine. The committee will also discuss expanding emergency use authorization to children as young as five. This comes as the U.S. faces dual variant surges. Melanie's joining us now. Mel, health experts say that the answer to battling Delta and Omicron is vaccination. Yep, and those boosters, Jen, just got mine yesterday, actually. So 36 states in the U.S. have reported cases of the Omicron variant. But Dr. Anthony Fauci, the nation's top infectious disease expert, says there is no need for now for an Omicron-specific booster shot. Omicron is a worry. You have to take it very seriously. The vulnerable people are the people who have not been vaccinated. For those who are vaccinated, you still are fairly highly protected against severe illness, so that's good. But even if you had two doses of vaccine, protection against mild illness isn't as good. Data is still coming in on vaccines versus the Omicron variant. For the two-dose Pfizer vaccine, a study from South Africa suggests it's 33% effective at preventing Omicron. But Dr. Anthony Fauci says a booster offers up to 75% protection against symptomatic infection. And that South African study on Pfizer also showed vaccinated adults were less likely to be hospitalized. With Moderna, a U.S. study that hasn't been peer-reviewed yet suggests the two-dose vaccine's ability to neutralize Omicron was between 49 and 84 times lower than when it faced an earlier variant. But a booster dose might substantially reduce this risk. Another U.S. study, also not peer-reviewed yet, reported the Omicron variant is markedly resistant to all three of the country's vaccines, including Johnson & Johnson's. Health experts say that's where boosters come in. Boost that immunity for at least a period of time because you're not going to be protected as well against mild illness over time. We have the tools to be able to blunt this. We just need to implement them. Now, as scientists continue learning about Omicron, the president of the European Union says it will become the dominant variant in about a month. Remember, though, it's a little more mild, mild though.